today I'm gonna trim in the windows. That's pretty simple. One thing I did do was right along here, I just kind of rounded that edge a little bit so it'll sit and see a little bit better because I rounded this. I cut all that with a you know, laminate cutter on a router and uh, it just kind of rounds. So if I have a little bit of slack here or there, I just kind of find a happy middle. What I want this to do, I want this uh, to be flush with the Just make this edge right here flush with the paneling in the event that we get done and it's not all that tight then I can go ahead and stack some more trim on top of it. Pretty much just putting a three quarter inch staple in it, not staple it up, close that window a little bit. So I'm not going to put a lot of staples, I'm not going to put glue here in case that the window gets broken or he decides he wants to, you know, somebody decides they want to put something different in there. It's just easier for if you have to do some maintenance. You can pry the pieces out and not, not tear them up. That way somebody down the road doesn't have to go find a carpenter. Dude, I'm going to put that knot down low where you can see it. I like the knots. And then again, just kind of get your edges flush along here. I'm going to put you about three staples in that sucker. Yeah, okay, I got a couple knots there. I'll stick those down low. That's just burned from the blade. There's a little knot. I kind of like the knots. It helps it gives it that kind of a you know vintage look. This is not a vintage copy of anything. It's just a uh, something a friend and I dreamed up. And thought, oh, this camper would be cool. So, just kind of making it up as we go. Make us happy. And then what I might do is put me just a little bit of maybe a little bit of stain on these because this is birch. And this is pine, so if I just put polyurethane on it, it's not going to change the color of it or darken it, so it might stick out a little bit. But then again, a little contrast might be kind of cool. These little tiny windows, I mean, they don't operate like the big ones. The big ones have a lot of weight, so you know, when you come up back like that, there's a little, like a little fuzzy thing right here that gets up against that because it's still brand new so it makes it difficult to open and close from completely open position if you just remember to rough it up a little bit I guess but low E double pane it should be nice and quiet in this box and it's insulated on all six sides that's top and bottom and four sides okay well that's it for today. I won't bore you with um, caulking or priming or uh, little menial stuff, but that's that's how I trimmed out the window on the inside. I guess I give you a quick look at the exterior windows, the exterior of the window, how I trim those out. Uh, bevel on the edges here and bevel here and I stacked the trim so I could get a nice seal on it. Let's see if we can get back a little bit. There we go. And I didn't really fully close. You can see the screw holes. They're little screw, screw hole dimples. Just put enough filler in there so that they'll be watertight and then when I paint it you'll be able to see those. So if there's ever an issue the uh, trim, the small trim around the, right here, the three quarter inch, is just with staples, so you just pop that off. And then you can just take the screws out of the one by fours and remove that to remove the window. So this is kind of built with maintenance in mind or replacement. Um, 
the window gets broken it's not going to be a big issue you don't have to tear stuff up to get it apart and it's sealed well enough so going down the freeway that's the front of the trailer the rain's not going to get in you know in the windows um, thanks for watching